Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn, how can we reorder bootstrap for library table row, by using jQuery Ajax with PHP script and MySQL. We all know, bootstrap for HTML table is mainly used for display data in tabular format, on web page, but HTML table data is fixed, we can move it. Now in your mind one question arise, why we want to move HTML table data up and down, if we can up or down table row, then we can easily arrange table, or we can sort table row data. We can easily drag and drop table row by using jQuery user interface library sort table plugin. By using this plugin we can easily drag and drop table row, and arrange table row in order which we want, and by using PHP script, we can change order number at MySQL database also. Now we have start learning this topic, so here we have one page table, with table column like page ID, page title, page URL, and page order, all data will load in ascending order according to value of this page order column. This is our working folder, in this folder we have two file like index.php, and action.php, first we have open index.php file. Here we have already include jQuery library link, bootstrap for library link, font awesome icon library link, and jQuery user interface library link for drag and drop table row. First we have go to HTML code part, and here we have make one HTML table with two column like post name, and post order. In this table, we have add table body tag, we will load page table data under this tag, by using PHP script. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have make load data function. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to action.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, here we have to define which form data method has been used for send data to server, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define action variable with value fetch data has been sent to server. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have define JSON data type, so it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called, if Ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable, we will store page table data in HTML format. Now we have write for loop, and under condition we have write, count variable value is equal to zero, count variable value is less than the value of data dot length, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable, 
and here we have append HTML code like, table row tag with ID is equal to, data count variable dot page ID variable, here we have store page ID under this attribute. After this, in first column, we want to display page title data, for this here we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like, data count variable dot page title variable. Same way in second table column, we want to display page order number, so here we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like, open and close table data tag, and between it, we have write data count variable dot page order variable. So, here we have store page table data in HTML variable in HTML format, now we want to display in table, so here we have write dollar with table body tag, with HTML method, and under this, we have write HTML variable, it will display page data, under this table. Now we have go to action.php file, and here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nupta class, with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password argument set to blank value, it will make database connection. After making database connection, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post action variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch data, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from page table, order by page order table column data in ascending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Now for we want to execute above query, so we have write dollar statement variable, with execute method, it will execute above query. After this, we have write while loop, and under condition, we have write dollar row variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with, fetch method, and under this, we have write to class fetch association method. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row variable, on every interval, it will store whole row data in dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function, and under this, we have write dollar data variable, it will convert data into JSON string, and send to Ajax request. Now we have go to index.php file, and here we have called load data function, so when page has been load into browser, then it will call this function. Friends, here we can see that, when page has been load into browser, then we can see page table data has been load HTML table format, 
in first column we can see page title data, and in second column, we can see page order number. Currently, we cannot drag and drop table row, for this we have to go index.php file, and go to jQuery code part. And here we have write, dollar table body tag, with sort table method, this method will enable drag and drop feature under this table body tag. Under this method, we have write placeholder option with user interface state highlight class, this option will add this class into particular table row tag on which, we have moved to drag and we have already set style property of this class above. After this we want to rearrange page order number in page table on move of table row tag element, so for this here we have write update option with function with two argument like, event and user interface. This function has been called on table row tag element move, and under this function we will call Ajax request for update page order table column data. So first we want to get the page ID of all pages, which we have store into table row tag ID attribute, so first we have define one page ID array variable is equal to new array. Now we have write dollar with table body with table row tag as selector with each function, by using this each function, we can fetch ID of all table row ID, and store into this page ID array variable. Under this function, we have write page ID array variable with push method, and under this method, we have write dollar this with attribute method with ID. Here we have use each method, so it will get ID of each table row tag element by using attribute method, and by using push method, we have added page ID into page ID array variable one by one, until last table row tag element. Here we have get the page ID according to new page order, and store into page ID array variable. An array of page ID, which we have store into this page ID array variable, which we will send to server via Ajax request. Now we have write Ajax request and in this, First we have write URL option set to action.php page, here we have send request to this page. In second option, we have write method, and in this we have write post method, so it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and in this option, we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send page ID array variable data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully. Now we have moved to write PHP code on action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to action, if this condition, true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for loop with condition like dollar count variable is equal to zero, value of dollar count variable value is less than value of count function dollar post page id array variable and dollar count value increment by one under this loop 
we have write dollar query variable is equal to update page table set page order table column value is equal to value of dollar count variable plus one where page id is equal to value of dollar post page id array variable with dollar count index this query will update page order table column data on the basis of value of array index by getting page id from dollar post id array variable one by one it will update all page order column data so whole page order will be reorder below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method with dollar query variable it will make query for execution and for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute above update query so our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser friends you can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see list of page title with page order number here we can easily move table row data so now we want to change first row order to last so here we have drag first row and drop at the last after drop here we can see page order number of all table row has been changed so we have refresh the page then now you can see that table row order has not been changed that means our code is working so by using this feature we can arrange table row order by using jQuery drag and drop sortable method with Ajax PHP without refresh of web page. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.